Invasive weeds. They're not native to California, and if left unchecked, they could completely clog the delta. It's something that can never be eradicated entirely, but it has to be controlled, and it's important um, for safety of the waterways, and it inhibits uh, boats from navigating through the area unless it is controlled. Uh, it's something that will grow on top of the, the surface of the delta water, and it just will continue to spread and spread. When it comes to invasive weeds, there are two main threats. Egaria densa and water hyacinth. In the delta, they have no natural controls, so they flourish. It gets out of control unless it's managed appropriately on an ongoing basis. And it's a problem that, uh, that just gets much worse, particularly in the warmer weather where it grows much faster and it overtakes complete areas. Egaria densa and water hyacinth threaten the delicate delta ecosystem. They outcompete the native California plants by blocking out the light they need for photosynthesis. They create safety hazards for boaters, block shipping lanes, and block irrigation systems that farmers depend on. Egaria densa spreads at a rate of 100 acres per year, and thousands of acres in the delta are infested. Water hyacinth can double in size every 10 days, and the floating mats can get up to six feet thick. On this day, Senator Galgiani and her staff went to the Delta to see firsthand the impact of these invasive weeds. I wanted to see it and understand it better. It's one thing when you when you hear about it and you take the phone call and you're trying to work on the problem, but when you, you see it, you're better able to explain why the need is so important. And also, I need to continue working to get the funding in the, in the budget to ensure that boating and waterways has the necessary funding so that this continues beyond just this fiscal year. At this point, neither of these invasive species can be eradicated from the Delta, but they can be controlled. Herbicides safe for use in waterways can dramatically reduce invasive weeds, but in the past, permitting problems have prevented spraying. Senator Galgiani is working to change that. And it just will continue to spread and spread unless it is controlled and that's done by spraying. But that hadn't been happening because of some problems that were occurring at, at the federal level and some communication that needed to occur between the state and the federal government. And that's happened now. And, and as of the end of March, they have started spraying again and we're getting the problem back under control as it should be. But it's an ongoing need that we need to continue to work on.